When we reviewed the fractal defined Z case, we gave it pretty high marks overall. We gave it an award. We noted that we liked the build quality, the ease of installation features, the cable management, but our one complaint was that it was, quote, warm. And I mean, it's a closed off front case. It's going to be warmer than its competition with a mesh front. Lo and behold, Fractal has now responded to that criticism with a mesh front version of the Define C. So for all of those who said uh, or who took issue with our use of the word warm to define something which was objectively warmer than its competition, looks like Fractal at least somewhat agreed. So this is the Define, the Define C's counterpart, the Meshify C, and we're going to review it today. It's the same case as the Define C, aside from a few smaller features and then the one major feature, the mesh front. So we don't need to go through the entire thing, mostly just thermals and noise. Before that, this coverage is brought to you by our Patreon backers, without whom we may not have even ventured into this case review. By supporting us on patreon.com slash gamersnexus, you can help out with contributing to the upcoming reviews and voice your opinion in Discord to let us know what you'd like to see us test. Learn more at the link below. The functional aspects of this case and the build process are exactly the same as described in our review of the Window Defined C, which we gave a quality build award. It's compact, well-made, and carefully designed. If you want to know more about those aspects of the case, check our review of the Defined C or accompanying video for more detail. The only real difference here is the front panel, which is black metal mesh backed by a thin foam filter and a plastic frame. The foam will hopefully act as a very fine filter, preventing the open design of the case from blasting all the components with dust. For some reason, the front I.O. is also a bit different. Rather than being attached to the chassis as it is in the Define C, it's now built into the front panel, which is an inconvenience we experienced in our Antec P8 review. The removable plastic top panel included with the Define C is now missing from the Meshify, but a magnetic filter is still included. Again, there's none of the noise damping padding found in the Define models, as the target audience for this case cares more about cooling than anything else. And that's all it comes down to. This is basically for people who like the Define look, but want air to get into their case. And so we have the Meshify. We're going to run through the thermals and noise today. That's really the only focus of this review. If you would like more information, again, on ease of installation, build features, things like that, check our Define C review. It's the same case, aside from the features already noted. Just like with the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900, we're starting with standalone tests first, and then we'll look at comparative numbers. Our standalone testing will focus on the Define C and the Meshify C. In the stock configuration, our torture test pushed the CPU 54.3 Celsius above ambient on the Meshify C. There's an unobstructed path of airflow from the front intake fan through the heat sink and out the rear exhaust, but there's definitely room for improvement. Replacing the intake with two 140mm fans, for instance, decreased the delta a full 7 degrees to 47.3 Celsius. Since the stock fans and configuration of the Define C and Meshify C are identical, the only advantage of the Meshify C is that it's got more air available in the intake area. Not only does this make its baseline temperature 3 degrees lower than the Define's, 54.3 versus 57.3, but it also means that the Meshify benefits more from the extra fans. The 140mm Noctua's only lowered the Define's delta 4.1 degrees compared to the 7 for the Meshify C, widening the gap even further. As a sanity check, we removed the front panel of the Define C to make a pseudo Meshify, and this resulted in a CPU temperature delta of 46C over ambient. This is 1.3 degrees lower than even the Meshify because there is no layer of mesh to get in the way of the airflow. Fractal has done a pretty good job of designing a front panel that cools nearly as well as not having a front panel at all. It's pretty difficult to do and they've done it. Comparatively, we can look at other cases we've tested for the same torture workload. Seeing a 54.3 Celsius as a decent delta temperature competitive with the S340 Elite and 270R but outperformed by Silverstone's mesh fronted RL06 at 47.8 Celsius. This case has remained one of the best value cases for a cooling and performance oriented mid tower PC, and that remains true here. With the added fans, however, the Meshify has the lowest CPU delta we've yet seen, but again, you could probably achieve similar on many of these cases by also putting two Noctua 140mm fans in them. The point is just that the Meshify has plenty of headroom for improvement, 
and that's what you want in the case of the mesh front. The GPU torture temperature delta was 57.8 degrees, and the Noctua fans only lowered this by 1.6 Celsius. The center of the stock intake fan is level with the backplate of our GPU, so most of the air is pushed over it and sucked out of the exhaust, leaving a dead zone between the card and the shroud. This is part of the price of such a compact case. Our 140mm fans were as high as possible in the top two slots, but users should experiment with different fan placements. For instance, consider putting a lower fan flush with the PSU shroud to cool the GPU. You'll lose some air into the shroud, but overall, the GPU does need some air as we found out with this top-oriented fan configuration. There's also a section of the power supply shroud that can pop out to fit a third front fan of these smaller sizes particularly. And either way, this is still a big improvement. The defined stock GPU temperature delta is about 1.7 degrees higher, but worse than that, it didn't benefit at all from additional fans. One of the Meshify's biggest strengths in comparison is its ability to scale temperature as fans are added. Completely removing the front panel resulted in a 54.5 degree delta, and that's cooler, but still encouragingly close to the Meshify. Compared to other cases on the chart, the Meshify's GPU delta is near the bottom, and even additional fans don't really give it an edge here. Not unless you were to relocate the center fan down to the bottom, and that's what we would suggest doing. We tested with the top two configuration, and clearly a more optimal setup for this type of build would be one fan at the top to direct air into the CPU cooler, and one fan lower down to direct air into the GPU cooler. The RL06's delta is more than 10 Celsius lower with its stock fans with no changes, and playing around with fan placement using a radiator-cooled GPU or maybe just differently sized graphics cards would help out here, but these temperatures aren't dangerous, they're just, again, relatively warm. 3D Mark's Firestrike Extreme Test with stock fans put the GPU close to its temperature limit at 60.3 Celsius above ambient, and the Define C was the same, with invariance. That's just under the Antec P8, which we sort of knocked recently for its cooling. More directional airflow would, once again, help out, and you can solve that because we've now shown clearly that doing two top fans is not the optimal configuration for this type of build. Blender offers a realistic test for CPU and GPU workloads. Deltas remained well within the limits. For the CPU rendering workload, we were at 48.2 Celsius Delta T over ambient with the Meshify C. And for the GPU rendering workload, we were at 30.3 Celsius for, again, GPU rendering. Without the extreme stress of a torture test, the stock Define C and Meshify C had CPU deltas that were roughly equal. Let's move on to noise. We originally reviewed the plastic windowed version of the Define C, which may be louder than the original case, but still has enough insulation to keep things pleasantly quiet. The Meshify has none. In its stock configuration, there's only one fan behind the front panel, but it's directly exposed to anyone sitting in front of it, as are all fans added to the front or the top. This is not the SKU to buy for silence, the Define C is. 38.6 dBA is technically noisier than any of the other cases on our chart, other than the Corsair 570X, and the Silverstone RL06, both of which have three front fans. But it's audibly on the same level as the S340 Elite, one top and one rear fan, and the Defiant C with the old front measured at 35 to 36 dBA just for point of comparison. We liked Fractal's Defiant C when we last reviewed it, and we still like it now. The difference is Fractal has resolved our one complaint, which is that the Defiant C was warm. And for the type of site we are, type of outlet we are, warm, is one of the main things we don't like in enclosures. We do a lot of cooling tasks, we are performance oriented, and so this is a good turn for Fractal. It introduces them or reintroduces them into a market where, oddly, a lot of the competition has vanished over the past year or so as the trend in the case market has gone more towards an attempt at sleekness, an attempt at following trends in things like tempered glass, which of course this still does, but it's got a mesh front. So it's nice to see some case companies paying attention to the fact that cooling matters and you can actually lose clocks and lose FPS with poor cooling and ventilation to GPUs and things like that. The real takeaway here thermally is that the Meshify C isn't inherently that much better than the Define C, at least not with our configuration. The way to really take advantage of this case and the conversion that Fractal has done is to add fans to the front. With the stock configuration in Blender GPU tests, we're seeing about a two Celsius difference. Blender CPU tests, they're effectively the same temperature. 3D Mark, the CPU is better by two Celsius with the Meshify. The GPU is the same. 
Torture GPU tests were two degrees Celsius better in the Meshify. Torture CPU tests were three degrees Celsius better in the Meshify. But none of those numbers are that big of a change for how big of a change the case has gone through. So to get the most out of this, you have to add fans. As you can see in our two fan comparisons from the earlier benchmark tables, it's clear that the Meshify taps into the potential of those more than the defined C does, which makes sense given the front configuration. So for this case, what we learned here, of course, we only have so much time to test so many configurations. So the takeaway is if you buy this and if you add a fan to the front, we would recommend going with one lower down so that you can direct it at the GPU. It'll really drop temperatures. In our testing, we did one fan up here, one here, and obviously that ended up sort of skimming the backplate of the video card. Didn't help it a whole lot. So that would be the takeaway there. You can learn from that configuration. For competition, Silverstone's Redline 06 Pro is now directly competing with this. It's got three front fans. It is one of the best cooled cases we've worked with lately. It's a mid-tower as well. It comes in white and black. And I think there might be one other color. It's 75 bucks. So it's not too distant from this price. Uh, there's a tempered glass version for $100. So if tempered glass matters to you, keep that in mind. As a whole, though, we hope that Fractal continues to meshify -ify their cases going forward. A Meshify S would be pretty cool and welcomed, I think, by most of the community. So, uh, Fractal, well done. Thank you for venturing into the ventilation-focused or cooling-focused case market while still retaining some of your core design elements. It's nice to see a company that can try to resolve some of the criticism of a case while also not detracting from what they're known for. And in this case, if the only element that gets uh, anywhere distant from sleek and flat is this sort of tessellated mesh, you've done pretty well. So uh, yeah, we like this case overall. And uh, if you're interested in this case or others, you can check the links in the description below. Patrick wrote the review, did the testing, and uh, yeah, subscribe for more. You can go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly. We bought this case because it was highly requested by folks in our Patreon backer group on Twitter and everywhere. Uh, so having that support helps us to buy things like this when you all want a review and we can't get a sample. So that's all for this time. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>